Колеги, доброго дня. Ми продовжуємо робочий день. Good afternoon. We continue our working day. Полина Бродік із the activist of the campaign Let My People Go. Максим Буткевич, representative of the Committee on Solidarity. And the topic of the meeting is a message from Crimean prisoners' opinion on the situation with the Ukrainians. The defendants in terrorism case in Rostov, Russia. Sashenka, good morning to you. Uh, happy birthday to you. I wish you health and uh, be strong. We will cope with that. We love you here and we are looking forward to see you here. Uh, Sasha, as a sister, I want to wish you uh, patience, hope, and I hope that your next birthday will be celebrating together. Gena sends you his best wishes uh, and uh, I would like to tell you we are waiting for you and we hope that you will be with us very soon and you, that you will be uh, will soon be free uh, dear Sasha congratulations with your birthday I would like to wish you mm, to be strong that's very important and I believe that uh, what you have demonstrated and that uh, in in your uh, fighting will uh, help you and other people you will be able to do a lot uh, happy birthday sashko and uh, i wish you uh, good health be in freedom we are together glory to ukraine glory to heroes Happy birthday, Sasha. Good afternoon, I'm Polina Brodek. I uh, represent the uh, campaign Let My People Go. Now you saw, you've seen this video with uh, greetings uh, from friends and activists who wanted to give their warm words uh, to Alexander Kolchenka. Because of his uh, birthday, you will be able to see the video during the uh, event, which will be dedicated to the birthday of Alexander, and it will be taking place in a week uh, in Kiev. Then you will uh, hear one more address from uh, the mother, from Larisa Kolchenka. And uh, now I would like to say a few words about what will be happening on the 26th uh, of November, 5 o'clock, at 7 o'clock, sorry, p.m. We don't know the venue yet, so all those who are willing to join, please follow the news. We will soon uh, report on the venue. You will be able to record your video. Congratulations, which uh, in the future will reach Alexander. But in any case, we will give them th this information and it will he will be pleased today. As it has been mentioned at the press conference, Svetlana Sidorkina will uh, participate and she's the lawyer of Alexander and uh, today's visit of Ale Svetlana Sidorkina is possible as part of the conference implementation of guarantees of uh, the um, lawyers and human rights uh, this is organized by the Kiev House of Human Rights Ukrainian Helsinki Union on Human Rights um, and uh, with the support of the Center of Civil Freedoms, Euromaidan Press, and uh, Let My People Go campaign. Uh, Svetlana has just landed. Uh, yesterday she uh, was intending to visit Alexander, but uh, uh, she 
failed to do so, and I believe that she will talk about that in more detail. Uh, I am the lawyer of Sasha Kolchenko, Svetlana Sidorkina, as to why I failed to visit him yesterday in Rostov, Nadanu, I failed to get there. I cannot tell you whether that was, uh, whether the reason was uh, really objective or it was uh, invented reason officially. Uh, it was explained why I wasn't allowed to visit the detention facility because yesterday was the investigation day and they had no free rooms. And taking into account the fact that I flew 1,500 kilometers to get to uh, the defendant, um, I believe is uh, um, the lawyer has the right to see uh, the client any time, but today, unfortunately, in the detention facility, which is under FSB, uh, there are no laws uh, and they act uh, the way they want. And I believe that yesterday when I was not allowed to visit uh, Alexander Kolchenka is related to that from the point of view of the law, it was illegal. Uh, what can I say more than that? Uh, as regards directly those functions or events we were planning to hold, you know that there was Alexander uh, Berzin and me as a lawyer can say that on November 24th we are going to have the meeting of the Court of Appeal of the Russian Federation when they are going to consider the um, appeal against the verdict. And we as lawyers or the defense lawyers, we actually as send an appeal against the where they took the Krasnodar um, uh, court, which passed their decision against uh, those two gentlemen. And as for the criminal case um, uh, opened against Sensor uh, and Kolchenko, we as defense counselors uh, believe that if we are talking about the qualification of those actions which the year accused of, uh, charged with, uh, for example, if we are talking about the Alex, his participation in terrorist groupings, this kind of, um, let's say, of the court uh, qualification, if we proceed from the uh, charge um, by the investigation office and the court, they actually there are no evidence to, uh, uh, let's say, convincing evidence against them. Uh, as for the severe charge against Alexander, taking into consideration the relationship today between our relations between Russia and Ukraine. Unfortunately, uh, in Russia there is a, a trend or towards more um, a strict attitude towards any kind of uh, those people who are not like-minded uh, to, to their uh, people. And if we are talking about the accusation based on the charging against 113 or Article 282 and the kind of calls for the extremists and participation in the extremist activities. And today, uh, they trend towards the uh, more strict attitude uh, to the unlike minded people. And uh, it's actually uh, gravitates to the uh, aggravation in it, and it actually suffice to the specific attitude and part of the Russian um, uh, judicial power toward those people who are not like-minded to them. And that's why they try to charge or to accuse those people who then believe to be to falling under this category who try to defend their uh, citizenship position and our stance. Um, and the most popular article, uh, let's say, articles in the criminal code is the espionage and terrorism, and they uh, take it at the um, uh, excuse to bring the, those people toward the criminal responsibility or liability. And what else? I, uh, last time I saw Alex one month ago, he still is full of, uh, uh, of belief. He is not in the blue. And uh, since I communicated with him one month ago, since he is very far away from here in Rostov and Don, 
not always a, a standard chance together. We also communicate, correspond with him, and uh, Sasha asked me to to give you his best regards. He has always believed himself to be, and still believes himself to be a citizen of Ukraine. In those actions he carried out, he did that as a citizen of Ukraine, defending and in uh, his own point of view regarding the events taking place in the Crimea in those days. This is his uh, citizen's stance or position in the action which he believes to be a kind of a specific gesture or response to those uh, things which uh, took place in the uh, Crimea, in the Autonomous Republic of Crimea. So in other words, he positions himself, first of all, the Patriot of Ukraine. Thank you very much. It's a short question. You failed to visit him yesterday, so when you plan to try to make another visit, to take another visit? Since the uh, 21st of November is quite close to today, when they're going to consider that case in the Court of Appeal in Russian Federation, uh, immediately after that I plan to see Alex, and uh, I hope that I'll be success. I'll succeed in that. Yesterday was a lot of difficulties or barriers in my way, and actually I launched a complaint since I was not given an, uh, an access to Alex in the detention center yesterday, but unfortunately we lost some time yesterday and I did hope that uh, when I come here today I would be able to give you more uh, news, but unfortunately I did not make it. Now we have uh, another video. When uh, did you see Alex last time? In, in, in Rostov and Don during the court proceedings. First they promised me uh, as soon as the uh, investigation is over, which lasted practically one year. Then they promised after the verdict is made and that... Uh, and uh, actually when they had given access to the court, um, uh, uh, during the court consideration, then there was the first time I saw him after court, uh, I s saw him again. Uh, speaking about physical and moral condition, what can you say? You know, well, his condition is quite normal, he doesn't complain about anything, he's full of enthusiasm. And uh, we try to uh, to support him, but um, he lost a lot of weight. And then, which is absolutely clear because um, now he, uh, you know, this is a very nervous situation. He actually, now, what he writes to you in his letters about, I mean, not very often uh, the, his letters reach me. They actually ask what, what the situation back home, what's going on in Ukraine, in Crimea, and Simferopol. He actually takes a specific interest in, in the. Uh, Global events, I would say. Has he changed? I mean, uh, under the pressure of the events of the last 18 months, maybe you could notice something or he writes about anything. You know, I have an impression he um, he matured a lot, he became uh, more serious, but his uh, outlooks or points of view have not changed. Uh, you personally, what you were thinking about, um, actually, were you present during the court um, proceedings, or, or uh, Alex and like, you know, of course, I, it I was very emotional, it was very difficult to be here, here, and to hear all those witnesses to give their, uh, let's say, testimonies, uh, which were absolutely forged or faked, and because Alex is no terrorist at all, etc. What about now? Do you feel any kind of pressure exerted upon Alex on the part of the uh, those authorities? Actually, we did not feel that, uh, but uh, the situation in the Crimea is very difficult, and it's very difficult to to to, um, uh, to take care of that. Can you hear? Can you feel anything on the part of the society? Some kind of support? Uh, well, uh, there is a big support on the part of Alex uh, or Sasha, uh, friends, he's clean uh, near and dear, they do support us very much. What do you believe? Uh, does Ukraine does um, does Ukraine do uh, enough in order to liberate uh, Alex, Alex and the other pris prisoners, political prisoners? Well, uh, you, you know, uh, I, I don't think... 
and that Ukraine is doing everything possible. And you know, we, to us mothers, we don't care what actions will be taken to uh, send our, uh, our boys, our sons home, extradition or anything else. But what we are after, we ask Ukraine to um, do everything possible to bring our sons back to uh, their motherland. Would you like to say some, something to the Ukrainian society on the eve of the Alex birthday? Yes. I would like to thank everybody for their support and their and the solidarity. And please write um, uh, uh, letters to Sasha. He badly needs those. And on the eve of his birthday, uh, he, it will be uh, really he will be happy to to receive some uh, letters because this is a very thin line, a thin thread, which actually links him uh, himself to the outer world. That's why it's very important for him. And now, Maxim. Thank you. You have just seen the interview uh, which we uh, recorded via Skype with uh, Kolchenko's mother, Larissa, and she said that we and our colleagues we are not uh, we are repeating it all the time to support uh, Crimean hostages as they are often called here because many people consider them to be not just the prisoners who are um, accused in something but people who are, uh, have been taken hostages by political by Russian political authorities because of the situation between Russia and Ukraine it's very easy to support them you can do many things, but the simplest thing is to support, uh, is keep communication with them, to write to them. It's easy to write. Do you see Alexander's address now here? Uh, just a postcard, uh, a letter, a few words of support are very important for him, for Oleg, since so for Gennady Afanasyev. Just remember the basic rules. First of all, write uh, in Russian language. These are the requirements of the system, of the detention facility. Otherwise, they will not let uh, give the letter. Then don't comment the materials of the case and uh, avoid the direct political slogans. First of all, uh, don't uh, write Crimea is Ukraine even though you want to write it to people from Crimea, but that automatically means that your letter will not be given to them. Because now such a, a slogan falls under the criminal code of Russian uh, Federation as calls to violate the territorial integrity, but to write to them, to Sashko, that they are remembered, to wish them health, uh, to ask uh, about uh, the conditions of detention, about the books that they are reading. He reads uh, a lot, Sashko reads a lot. And just support uh, communication with them, that is something really important. If you have no chance to send the paper letter, but you have the desire, the Committee of Solidarity, we on our website have a special form, you can fill it in, you can write to who you want to write a letter, write the text and then we will put it on paper and we will send it ourselves. That's easy to do it. Also, even though such instruments uh, like uh, statements and petitions seem to be helpless, but we know that drop after drop ruins the uh, stone, and there are several petitions online. First of all, call to a Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, to European Union, to publicly um, condemn the sentences uh, against uh, political prisoners and uh, um, liberate them. And uh, there are other ways uh, to support and to help. This could be some donation financial for current expenditures, is disseminating information about that case in mass media, 
for media professionals supporting uh, attention, keeping attention to the case of Crimean hostages. We repeat it all the time, taking into uh, account what were the sentences uh, passed. Uh, Oleg uh, got 20 years and Sashko 10 years. Uh, we uh, should uh, not uh, be. We should uh, keep attention, and we should. Uh, we know that it is difficult to uh, keep attention of mass media uh, around one and the same topic. But we need to do that, and we need to express our uh, personal uh, support, uh, support in uh, social networks, and personally come to the events which are dedicated to liberating. Uh, we're hostages in Polina. What Polina said uh, on the 26th of November at uh, 7 o'clock, we will organize this uh, action, greeting Sashko with birthday. And anyone who wants could, could go there, and we will record a video greetings, a video congratulations. And this will be then disseminated in uh, social networks, and he will learn that people uh, greeting him or congratulating him and are doing it publicly to express their support. So there are many ways of supporting Crimean hostages in Sashko, and every effort in this direction helps him, helps his relatives, his mother, his sister. And you need to let them know uh, that they are not forgotten so that they can count that the public uh, will support them, people are supporting them. These are very obvious things, very needed things, and I would like to call upon all of you to do that. And we are concerned uh, about the conditions of uh, detention of Sashko and Dalek. We were not sure where we can write to them, uh, taking into account that uh, the case will be considered in Moscow, but they are still in rostov na -Danu. And the address which you see is still um, the effective address. So I call upon you continue to support uh, Alex, Sashko, Gennady, everyone who is uh, uh, kept in Russia as uh, the political prisoners. The first question to you, Maxim. And that is the question that was uh, in the video address of Alexander's mother. How would you assess the support uh, of Alexander by Ukrainian mass media, by um, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine? And the second question, how strong do you believe is uh, the support of international community of Alexander's case? Answering your first question, we see now, the attention which uh, is still quite strong, even though uh, the quite a lot of time has passed since Alexander and others were detained, uh, Ukrainian mass media uh, pay attention to their destiny, and we hope that this will continue. Ukrainian uh, lawyers uh, can, uh, advocates uh, are trying to help them and uh, I can talk about two initiatives which are mostly supported, uh, and that is uh, the campaign Let Me People Go of the Center of uh, uh, Civil Freedoms and the initiative group Committee of Solidarity. It's not a registered organization, it's just a, a group of activists. Uh, and because they were infuriated by what uh, is happening to Oleg, Alexander, Gennady, Alexei, they got together and they're trying to help. But there are also other activists uh, who participate uh, in the um, support actions, talking about the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. We are in permanent contact with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs continues to remind the world about these cases and that people with absurd uh, accusations are uh, kept uh, prisoners. Uh, and I know that there are other things happening, maybe not so public, but we are trying to really get them liberated. Uh, but in case of Alexander, 
just like in case of uh, Alegan Gennady, one of the first problems which demonstrate the absurdity is that the representatives of Ukrainian consulate uh, service uh, does not allow them to go to, to visit them because Russian Federation does not recognize them as the citizens of Ukraine. They were trying to impose on them Russian citizenship, even though that's against the international law, but they use it as a pretext not to give them the chance to talk to Ukrainian consulate and uh, the Ukrainian Ministry of Foreign Affairs. But there are things uh, which we can do, and we call upon uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to put even more efforts into that, because that is demonstrative case, not just about the situation in the Russian Federation, but our efforts uh, on uh, uh, defending them should be demonstrative as well. And, uh, our, and Ukraine as the state should demonstrate that we do not uh, um, leave our people irrespective of uh, in which conditions they are. And the second question, how do you assess the international support? The international support. We do feel the support from, from the very beginning of the case. They, uh, re they mention Alexei Mtsov more because he's known as the uh, film uh, producer, but Alexander Kolchenko is also uh, always mentioned together with him. Uh, the, uh, these are not just the uh, cinematographists or advocacy groups. Sashko positions himself as an uh, anarchist, and anarchist communities all over the world support him as well. But we need to say that now the support of Oleg is not limited by the world of the film, uh, and Alexander is not limited to anarchist circles. Different people from different countries of the world support them. And uh, that was demonstrated when the, uh, on the 25th of August in Rostov, Nadanu, they were giving the sentence, there were actions taking place against that in many countries of the world. Thank you. Maybe you have something to add, Polina or Svetlana. Uh, are there any uh, other questions to our speakers? If none, thank you a lot, uh, our friends, and see you again. All the best to you. Uh, may I remind you that our next briefing will take place at 11.30.